Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be looking at the Gazania. So the Gazanias are also called the African daisies or the treasure flowers. They are a native of South Africa and they belong to the Asteraceae family to which the daisies also belong. The Gazania is primarily grown for its beautiful colored flowers. The flower colors range from orange to red to pink and different multicolors as well. So folks, the most distinct characteristics of the Gazania are its flowers opening up during the afternoon times when the sun is up and closing during the early morning as well as the evening times when the sun is down. There are two varieties of Gazania, one is the perennial and one is the annual. The one that you see in a lot of nurseries in India is actually the annual type. So how do you differentiate between the annual and the perennial Gazania is that you just have to look at the blooms. The perennial Gazanias will have smaller blooms compared to the annual Gazanias which will have really large blooms. Another thing you have to look out for is that the perennial will have more foliage than flowers and the annuals will have lesser foliage than the perennials. And another thing that you can make out or you can differentiate between the perennial and the annual is by looking at the underside of the leaves. If the underside of the leaves are silvery woolly then that plant is an annual. And most probably the plant that you see in front of you is an annual because of the semblance of this plant to all the characteristics that an annual gazania showcases. So now let me talk about the other two varieties of gazania that is most commonly grown. One is the clumping variety and one is the trailing variety. So this one that you see in front of you is not the trailing variety, this is the clumping variety and I will tell you on how to differentiate between these two. So folks, the clumping variety would have a grey underside to its foliage and the trailing variety would have a fully silvery grey foliage. So you might be wondering why the Gazania has a silvery underside to its foliage. This is because the Gazania loves full sun and it is a wonderful drought tolerant flowering plant, probably one of the best flowering plants that is drought tolerant and low maintenance. So folks, whenever you see a plant that has very silvery or woolly foliage that is not entirely for ornamental purpose but it actually has a bigger cause because these plants come from very hot and arid areas so they have to reflect the sun and they have to conserve water. So the primary purpose of any silver foliage or any hairy foliage is to reflect the sun and conserve water. So propagating the clumping variety of gazanias is very easy. You can propagate it with the help of divisions or you can propagate it with the help of seeds. So some of the gazanias can be a little invasive, especially in Australia where it was introduced as an ornamental plant. It has become one of their most invasive weeds. So it is not only a very pretty plant, but it can also be pretty difficult to handle. Now let us move on to the most important aspect of this video that is the care conditions of the gazania. The care conditions of the gazania is very simple. This is a wonderful drought tolerant plant and it can tolerate some spells of drought but make sure that you use a potting medium that is well draining at the same time retains moisture. So I would suggest you to use 50% sand and 40% garden soil and 10% compost as well. Using organic matter would definitely increase the blooms of this plant. Now let us talk about the sunlight conditions of this plant. So the more the sunlight you give this plant, the more it would flower. If you give it low light conditions, then the plant or the flower of this plant will not bloom at all. This plant is an excellent flowering plant for people who live by the sea as well because it can tolerate all the salty conditions and the harsh climatic conditions that is prevalent in the coastal zones. 
So if you are living in a frost affected area, then you can definitely grow this plant as an annual and you can propagate this with the help of seeds. Watering requirements of this plant is basic. You need to water this regularly for better growth and you could probably have this plant still survive if you do not water it for more than four days or so. Pruning of this plant definitely gives out more blooms and it keeps the plant really healthy. If given the right growing conditions, then this plant is almost pest free. However, you might encounter some pest infestations like aphids and powdery mildew, especially if you have waterlogged potting medium. So remember that you have a very good well draining potting mix for your gazanias. So folks, I'm not 100% sure whether this plant that you see here is actually an annual or a perennial. I believe that experience is king and I need to experience this plant and I will let you know very soon. This plant is an excellent ground cover plant wherever you have full sun or even partial sunlight especially if your garden or your patio is facing towards the southwest location where it gets intense afternoon sunlight. Another thing about this plant is that it is a dwarf plant that is it grows only up to a height of 1 feet. Hence it is an excellent addition to your hanging baskets, to your vertical gardening arrangements or even in the ground. So folks that is it for today's episode on gazanias. I hope that you have really enjoyed and liked the information that was showcased in this video and if at all you have suggestions or feedback then definitely write in by commenting below in the comment box so folks i'm finally back from my goa vacations and i'm raring to put up some great content on urbanscape bangalore and i hope and wish that you will keep watching Keep liking and keep subscribing to Urbanscape Bangalore because there's a lot more coming your way. I really hope that you have liked this particular video on the Gazania. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, the link for which will be provided below in the description box. Until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.